Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our PHP admin panel series. So now guys, in previous video, we have done with the website settings. And now in this video, we are going to integrate this website settings in our website. Okay. So now guys, let's get started. So first, let's move to our editor. And let me close everything. So first step guys, let's go to the includes header.php. Inside that header, we have a title. And now guys in this title you have shown this device as services right so instead of this device services like if you don't if you have not set the page title then you are going to show the website setting title okay so for example let's create a web setting function and inside this you are going to pass the column name that is title okay so this title is nothing but your column name. Let me just show you. So this is my title. So this is the title which I am going and calling here. So now guys, let us copy this web settings function and go inside our config folder function.php and let's create a function with the name web setting. Open and close and here we need to get the data of setting table equal to get by id you can use this function to get the data so guys if you're not understanding how this get by id is working please watch out the part 4 where i have shown about how to get this data okay so now guys i am passing the first id only id number one will be seeing that and now you can check this in a if condition here if website setting of status is double equal to 200 then you're going to show the data website setting of data and then your dollar string or column name okay column name okay so this variable will be passed from the function so you get from it and you share here and now let's return this guys that's it okay so now guys let's get back to our header and here we pass done if the data is not found that time you can show that services okay device services and now guys let us come here meta colon description okay and the same code let's copy this and paste here open echo and close php here paste it and here you can tell meta desk okay that is description as simple and same way for the keyword guys so meta keyword done and here you need to paste the column names so my column name is meta description pasted and the meta keyword let's copy here and paste it okay done and let's add this keyword let's save and now guys let's come back on the front side so here you have a page title so it's not loading but let me inspect and show you the meta keyword and description so let's go inside the head tag and you move there so here you see guys uh, the content that is coming from your backend that is your meta description here what you have saved it's coming here and this is the device services keywords which you have here in them so let me just show you this meta description let's copy and paste here and let me save this so it will show you the meta description value let me refresh perfect so you see that meta description and this is the keyword okay so same way guys how can you utilize this all this contact information okay so you can create a contact page and display over there or else you can create the footer and display over it okay so now guys let's come to this navbar and change this title over here and also create a simple footer so let's get back and let me copy this code guys and get back to the navbar so on this navbar here is our title page brand name so let's paste here and just tell it's a title and here you can keep a simple website this name now refresh here you see 
device services what you have saved from this settings navigate back and this is your footer part so let's create one footer content footer content dot php so begin with the padding top and bottom py5 and add a bg light light container row column md6 and h4 which is going to be the like heading and not heading footer heading so you can utilize the css and here the device name okay so let's add that title give a horizontal row and a p tag where you'll paste the small description let me copy that column name small description and paste here okay so now guys uh, let us copy this column d6 and paste here again and end this column d6 so again you copy this title and tell here we are going to tell us contact information and then horizontal row so you begin with again p tag where email so let's copy this and paste here so email one so let's make it null copy the same code and divide by comma and paste here so email two copy and paste again this is going to be the phone one and then the phone two this will be phone number and finally address address will be in the top and you can add that address column let's remove this we have only one address so you can just show you here yeah. refresh okay i did not include this let me include this in my footer part so inside this footer.php let's include the footer content php open and php close user include function to include the file footer hyphen content dot php save it and now if you refresh here you go perfect so now you can see that all the device services and here are your details okay so now guys i just go to index page and let's begin inside a container before this py5 and paste here okay and tell h4 home page so it will be clear to see refresh okay okay so now guys let us create one contact page and show this details over there also okay as simple so let's get back and create a new file contact hyphen s dot php and include the basic requirements so let's copy and paste completely here and change the page title contact us and then let's use py5 and the banner area so i just wanted to design a simple banner here you can use a bg secondary and inside a container use a h4 tag and tell contact us and make sure you are keeping this in a text white and i would just want this content to be in the center and then you and then here you begin again with your container row column md6 so here you design with your contact form so i'll just give a heading contact form and here column md6 you can put your contact information so what you have just use in the footer content so let me copy that completely and get back here so let's paste and done okay so now guys get back to your navbar and add the contact link let's copy paste here change the name contact hyphen s dot php contact us save it 
refresh okay let's click on contact us perfect okay so now guys i just see that it's like mixing i will add a on the footer content border top border top let's refresh okay so now guys i just want to show the phone number and email on the top nav bar also so for that you can just get back and go to the navbar.php let's create one div and add this sticky top inside this div class and minimize this navbar push here and let's create one container row column md6 and the second column md6 will be for the social media okay social media so which we'll be seeing in next video about where we are going to create here social media crud application so we'll be looping here on this navbar and now here we can add an email colon the first email id okay so let me just copy this and paste here tell email one if not show it null okay and same way copy and paste and show the phone or just tell mobile mobile okay and here phone one save it and now guys let's get back refresh so here you see the data has come so the page is not looking much good so for that what we'll do we'll add a background bg primary and just give a padding of two top and bottom and paste inside the complete container okay refresh awesome guys so let's get back and add a text hyphen white here let's save refresh looks better so guys we have successfully completed with the website setting usage in php website okay so guys let's continue next video with the new topic of this social media crowd application and showing them inside this social media and also we'll be showing in the footer part by dividing this columns so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share